Last October, Apple revealed its latest generation iPhones to the world. One feature in particular might not make so much sense today, but it could be incredibly advantageous in the additive manufacturing future. The iPhone 12 Pro's depth scanning LiDAR sensor. It looks ready to open up a lot of possibilities for 3D scanning apps on phones. For years, people have been speculating when or if 3D scanning will come on mobile phones. Now, Apple's acquisition of several 3D scanning companies and Google's Project Tango fueled endless discussions online. But as the PrimeSense acquisition was much talked about in 2013 and the Lynx acquisition fueled a lot of speculation in 2015, the true depth camera was going to change everything in 2017. Uh, the AR kit has always been an exciting thing for us. You know, things like object recognition and image reconstruction would also benefit 3D printing. Uh, we've actually used the AR kit to, to demo what this printer is going to look like in places. Uh, but unfortunately, the implementation of all these technologies has been, well, uh, less than warp speed. However, we finally have some very promising demos and results to look at with this new iPhone 12 Pro. So, with billions of devices worldwide, 3D scanning on smartphones could make 3D scanning a technology that people could use day to day. What's more, a native 3D scanning ability could allow us to sculpt objects in thin air or customize objects through simple apps. Phone-based 3D scanning would be just about the best and biggest thing that could ever happen to our industry uh, beyond our own efforts to improve ourselves. But software support for SDL and things like object recognition through 3D scanning could be very impactful on everything we do and how we use our phones in the workplace. So the good news is that 3D scanning on phones is here, for the most part. Uh, this time, it's finally gonna happen. Again, uh, Apple's new iPhones support a number of scanning features. In 2017, Apple launched the iPhone X which, with a new method of biometric security, Face ID, using 3D scanning. They had a, a, this uh, true depth camera capturing the depth and using a structured light scanner, an IR dot projector, to read that depth. Most apps using the technology for uh, security purposes, however, there have been some offerings in the App Store for rudimentary 3D scanning using that technology. We tried it, it sucked. On the latest generation iPhone Pro models, you get three cameras, the main, the wide, and the telephoto, as well as a time of flight sensor, otherwise known as LiDAR. The 2020 iPad Pro also has a similar camera setup, but it gets rid of the telephoto lens. So what is a LiDAR? What does LiDAR mean? LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. And it's been used, I mean, it's been around for a long time. It uses lasers to ping off objects and return them to the source of the laser, measuring the distance by timing the travel or the flight of the light pulse. Now, LiDAR is a tech that's been sprouting up everywhere. It's been used for self-driving cars or assisted driving. Uh, it's used for robotics and drones, augmented reality headsets like the HoloLens 2 also use similar tech, uh, mapping out the room space before layering the 3D virtual objects into them. So it really seems like Apple is putting this into the phone to really push the augmented reality, or AR, using augmented reality objects to have uh, you know, the new TV up in our living room or uh, to do a full room size scan. Now, the phone features a time of flight scanner that can accurately measure distances and capture scenes in a five meter range. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and you want us to do more, hit that like button so that we know and the YouTube algorithm knows and it can share this with more people. One element of this is being able to move realistically in game environments and do things such as virtually try out products and this is going to be huge. Uh, at home, just the ability to see how big that TV you found online or to virtually see how your new standing desk is going to fit into your house could be really impactful for e-commerce in general. Uh, virtually trying on clothes could be uh, a whole nother deal since online buyers return about 40% of clothing bought on the web. Now, when it comes to 3D printing and reverse engineering, the kind of detail level that you would need might not be there yet. It's sort of unclear if we can extract a point cloud for meshing. Uh, it's just not totally clear yet how easy it is to make a solid object and repair that uh, and then you know, make it an STL. 
Eventually though, someone will be able to extract enough detail from the Apple iPhone scanners to be able to print something. And this will let a lot of people unleash their creativity. With Apple's AR kit, we know that we can do object recognition uh, through an app. We could therefore include many reference objects. We can even use photogrammetry or another camera-based scanning method to uh, better fill in and obtain textures on 3D printed objects. This process should get us closer to obtaining 3D printable meshes out of our phones. Ideally, of course, the camera data from the other lenses could be compared as well. So we actually happened to get our hands on a iPhone 12 Pro Max, and that has the LiDAR scanner. So we're just gonna do a quick test real quick and show you right out the gate how good it is or can be for a new user, uh, me. So I'm just gonna go in here to the 3D scanner app and I'm gonna move these to the side and we're gonna give it a shot. Now the 3D scanner app has low res and high res. I'm gonna start in low res, just check it out, see what that does, and then we'll move on to the high res. So here we go. Just gonna move around the object. Looks like it's getting the whole room at once and bada bing, bada boom. Now, oof, golly. So that is an issue. It really captures a lot of stuff outside <laughs> and it didn't do a clean enough job here, but we could probably cut all the extra stuff out. Okay, we're out here in a random parking lot and I just found this Jeep. It should be good enough to scan. Let's give it a shot on a low res. Okay, I'm just gonna, this is pretty cool how it's just doing it real time. Just going around the whole deal. Okay, and that should be a full scan. So we're watching, oh yeah, now here we go. <laughs> That's cool, all right, yeah, it's a red Jeep. Maybe get some stuff on the top. Um, definitely rough for sure. Now, if you want to take this and do something in Minecraft or in some sort of 3D modeling program or use this as a base, it could be a really handy tool. I don't think it's anywhere close to replacing metrology solutions or like accurate 3D scanning solutions like the EinScan series, but uh, it's a lot of fun for sure. So Apple isn't the first to do this on a phone. Google actually had the same idea back uh, with Project Tango, which was an early augmented reality platform that was only on two phones. The advanced camera array also had infrared sensors that could map out rooms, creating 3D scans and depth maps for augmented reality. And it was also used for measuring indoor spaces. Google's Tango equipped phones were short lived, replaced by the computer vision algorithms that have done estimated depth sensing on cameras without needing all the same hardware. But the Apple iPhone 12 Pro looks like a significantly more advanced successor with a lot more possibilities and frankly I want my hands on one of those LiDAR scanners. So stay tuned, we're going to get our hands on one of those new magical devices and compare it directly against our $10,000 3D scanners here in the shop which we use in our high performance 3D printing service to validate parts printed on the machines that we sell using the tools we've made to make it easier for you, a business owner or engineer to 3D print peak Ultem PPSU and other high performance, high temperature thermoplastics. That's our specialty. Anyway, go leave a comment and let us know what you thought of this video. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you liked it a lot. It helps the YouTube algorithm understand that you liked it. Anyway. We like funny comments too. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.